What's up everybody? I'm going to talk to you today about something very important and it is all pertaining to the return of Christ. The new earth, okay? New earth blueprint, um, very important keys that you need to know. Granted, I understand some of these topics might be a little bit outside of our ability to understand at this time, but the more you rise, the more you will awaken to it. And it's also very important to know, um, it just might be the thing that helps you awaken also. So just listen to the, to the entire video um, and you just might be like, I get it, right? Um, so my name is Juniper Blue Mystique. I am an Ascension Master, a Master Healer and a Divine Guide. Since 2019, I had a Kundalini Awakening and I have been diligently and unbeknownst to me at the time, bringing through the return of Christ. This is clearing Mount Shasta, activating pyramids, freeing Jesus' soul, uniting with my DM, and having the biggest battle that I've ever experienced in my life. One that I barely survived, and my twin flame did not. I got a walk-in twin flame. Okay, so it was a very difficult journey, but very miraculous, very beautiful. Um, to... Raising Horus, Sekhmet and Horus uniting, Adam and Eve uniting, birthing the new earth, and drying the Nile. And when I dried the Nile, I learned that there was 13 gates, not 12, 13 gates of ascension. And then when I was all done, I realized there's 13 pyramids that I activated. 13 pyramids that I activated. From Indonesia to Myanmar to Machu Picchu, Budapest, Thailand, uh, Mount Kilimanjaro, Congo, British Columbia, Nigeria, Botswana, Zimbabwe, um, and all of those are on this channel. Every bit of the work that I have done has been recorded throughout the years because I did them through workshops, not knowing what was coming. So you can see those, but I'm going to try to slow down because those 13 gates are very important. There's a lot of people throughout history that talk about the 12 gates, 12 gates of abundance. Well, the new earth blueprint is different. Okay, the return of Christ, we did win. Love really did win. Love kept me going. I got a walk-in DM who I have deeply fallen in love with internally, and we have united wholeheartedly the entire way, including most recently through Adam and Eve timeline. Because Jesus is not the only component, that was just a piece of it. And there's 13 gates you must rise through, and God by bypassed some time, because there wasn't a lot of people choosing past that resistance. I was supposed to have 10 people, he said, rise with me. But unfortunately, not 10 people chose past that resistance. When my DM died, a lot of those people chose judgment um, and kind of became blinded. Because judgment is not of God at all. So I would encourage you not to bring that here. Keep an open heart an open mind because it's beyond our limited mind space and watch all the videos you find on this channel especially in the ascension playlist it just might be what helps you rise most of them though you cannot heal through there to witness unless you took the path to righteousness which is all the work that i did in the return of christ okay including the sun and the moon stuff it's a lot i understand that it's a lot it was a lot for me to understand, and I was doing it. But I need you guys to hear something very important in this video. When I completed the journey, when I opened up all 13 gates, when I united fully with my DM, birthed the new earth, undid all darkness, and so on, I made it to the 13th gate, and when I did that, and those that, that did make it to the end with me had the same experience, but slightly different for each individual. We had our heart reviews. Literally, like, it's real. I can't deny it. And unless you do it, you're not going to know. Okay, so don't, don't judge it. It was very real. And judgments really do hurt you, so just keep an open mind, okay? But when we got to the 13th gate, we had a heart review. And in that heart review, I saw my entire karmic contract and it was read like very quickly. 
and it turned to ash because I cleared all of my karma. Then I was, I was cleansed and I walked through the final gate, the 13th gate. And once I did that, I was given a blank contract and a golden pen and a key. And I forgot about the key for a little while until just two days ago. The contract is blank because we have to clear all karma to make it into new earth. That's not a maybe. That is an absolute. If you don't clear and heal all wounds and all karma, you're not ready. Okay? Because you cannot carry these lessons forward. We cannot be duality anymore. And that's what that means. We cannot remain in a state of duality any longer, you guys. We have to heal all shadow. We have to heal all karma. All lessons have to be learned that take you away from God. Because God is unconditional love. Now hear me out. And that's what those represent. Is all the ways that you need to learn how to love more. How to let more love in. But it's not only that. You have to release all shackles that bind you of the matrix. So the, the new contract, once you clear all your karma, it has to be healed, not cut ties to. I've talked about this many times. On the path to righteousness, that's what I do for you. Well, for those that push past the resistance for that one, because it is the entire return of Christ. It's very real. It is soul path alignment, okay? So there's a lot of resistance to the work that I do because that's your shadow trying to keep you from that soul growth, trying to keep you from detaching from the shadow because then it loses its power because the only power it has is what you give it, okay? Because it became a fallen, El Diablo type stuff. You following me so far? I know it's a lot. <clears throat> so in the new path, the new earth, once you get in and your karma is all cleared, you get that blank contract and a golden pen. And I was like, what? I, it took me a minute to process all of this and to understand it fully. And I was also given a key. This key is very relevant to the 13 gates, right? They talk about 12 gates of abundance. Well, in the new earth, it's 13 gates. You have to make it through all 13 gates. The 13th is new earth. And you can watch that in the Nile portal workshop that I did a year ago, June. Okay, well, we are now rising. So if you have karma and shadow, not good, right? Like you really have to heal all that now. Like it needs to be healed now, but not only that, there's one more key, <laughs> the key. So when you create your new contract, it's for you to create from your heart space because God is love. So your karma is created from everything that you've done outside of love. Right? Where you fall away from God because you choose judgments and fear and ego, the mind control components, the matrix components. You choose to be shackled from addictions to the fear, all of those lower vibrational tendencies. Those are what cut you off from the light. So you cannot be governed by the matrix to rise. You cannot be working your nine to five, more worried about money because you're a creator. Right? And in the new earth, you have to be balanced from the heart center. You have to be soul path aligned and balanced from the heart center. So not only do you have to clear all your karma, which I don't know about you, but I was ready to not suffer, right? I didn't want to suffer anymore. I didn't want to be, and I didn't even know it all at first, how much I was separated from my twin soul and all the damage that was done and what went, what Christ really went through. I know it now. And it was very painful. And they lie. <laughs> they lie to you. Okay. So I was done suffering. I don't know about you. And I chose to rise. And I chose to clear it all. And I chose to battle the most intense darkness. And I made it through all the way. I opened up all 13 gates. Closed down all 12 of darkness. Just like Revelations talks about. I did that. And it's all in this channel. It truly is. But you have to push past the resistance, not judge it. Open your heart and watch it. And sometimes two or three times because it's a lot to process. Now the relevance of the key and the contract. So you clear your karma. You have to. Then you have to become soul path aligned 
and balanced from the heart center. So everything you create has to be heart centered, not matrix, okay? You are a sovereign being, a pure sovereign being in your own power. You create money, you create all these things, okay? So whatever your soul path is, you heal into knowing what that is. The shadow blinds you from that. <clears throat> Before my awakening, I had a psychology degree. And I thought that was my heart center. I was like, I love, I loved working in behavioral and doing what I did, but it was not my heart center. Okay. That is not my soul path. And I realized that once I healed all of the matrix. Okay. You following me so far? I'm trying to go as slow as I can. So once I was healed enough and my awakening was the entire return of Christ's path, once it was completed, I knew fully my awakening and who I was and what my purpose was. And I mean, God told me I was going to change the world. I just thought it was through the healings I was doing because those were miraculous enough. You know, I could see what caused cancer and I could see what caused all these things. And I was healing it like I was. I thought that was amazing. But that wasn't it. <laughs> that was just part of what I do. Very amazing in itself still. But you clear your karma. You have to clear it all and heal it all by learning the lessons and what you've created to create karma. You have to see the ways of the shadow and to heal it all clearly. Okay? Be in your own power the whole way and completely detached from the matrix. Then once you find your soul path alignment, you're creating your new contract with God. That's once you get past the 13th gate. You get a blank contract because we can't be duality anymore. We cannot create from karma anymore. We're not here to learn lessons anymore. You can't either way you go. If you choose not to heal your karma and not to rise, you, you cannot remain anymore because we cannot be duality. That's what I've done. I've pulled all light back. Okay. I have returned all of my twin flame and my soul paths. And I have removed all that darkness. So you have to heal it all out of you. You cannot remain wounded and you cannot remain in karma. Once you do that, you can rise to new earth. And that's what the path would do for you. So the path to righteousness, God had me put everything together in the end. And he said, now call it the path to righteousness. And looking at it now, I'm like, holy, it's real. Like if you embark on that journey, which... Most people don't push past that resistance, unfortunately, because you have to be ready to grow, to heal it all and grow. And it's a journey. <laughs> it really is. But now you guys have no choice. You have to rise or, or not. So if you have any karma, um, he called it a great reset because there were not 10 people who chose to rise. A lot of people did not push past that resistance. The, the resistance is very strong, okay? So once I got into New Earth, God had kind of already showed me my heart center because I had to unite with my twin flame. And in order to unite with your twin flame, you have to be balanced from the heart center. You cannot be in the matrix because we're high frequency beings. So in that battle, I was already shown it a lot. Um, and then I just had to maintain the balance, but the shadow always attacked us. It was very difficult. So once I got through new earth, I got a new contract and a pen and a key. And again, I forgot about the key until about two days ago because I got through the new earth. I implemented all the pyramid activations, birth, new earth. It's all done. Like we made it through into the new earth. The time is now to rise. You guys, you are in the portals. You are either rising or falling. That's just the way it is. And it can only happen through your choices. Free will, okay? And that's what the shadow uses against you. It's a power God gave you, but it's also what the shadow uses against you. So you clear your karma. You clear all wounds. Self-love is a key. Balance, love, high vibration. Knowing your soul path, because once you awaken enough and you have no more shadow and you can see everything, you know your soul path. Where there is shadow, it blinds you, okay? Um, so if you don't know everything, you had work to do. That's what God said when he bypassed some time and called it the Great Reset. So two days ago, my key came back around. When I first started this journey four years ago or so, 
maybe it was about four years ago, I channeled through a Pleiadian mantra for abundance. And it talks about the golden gates and a key. And I've used it throughout. It's on my channel. I did a video on it. I've given people access to it, but I didn't realize the importance of it. Now that I've finished all 13 gates, I have fully united with my DM on every level through Adam and Eve. That's very real. It was very painful to get there. Um, my karma was cleared, and this is what everybody has to do, okay? I'm balanced from the heart center. Everything I do is my heart center, and it's not for money. It's because it's what I love, okay? But abundance is still our byproduct, right? Abundance comes when you're in balance for prosperity, when you're balanced from the heart center. That's the new earth blueprint. And in birthing the new earth, God opened up the heavens and dropped down all this gold, right? Abundance reigns means you have to be in your full power. And I know this is a lot to understand. But if you're afraid for money, if you go work your miserable nine to five matrix job because you have to pay your bills, you're shackled and bound. Okay, you can't be like that. I'm not the only one who talks about this. De La Roca talks about this. Like you have to let go of the matrix. You have to be soul path aligned. The medical field will crash. The judicial system field. All of those have karmic play out because it's part of the matrix. Okay. The medical field, most of it was not created in the light. And I know this. The healings I do to the return of Christ. Religion is not created in the light. Okay. God is in our heart center and we're all connected. So your new earth blueprint has to be soul path alignment and balance, balanced alignment, or what I call balance from the heart center, because when you heal your heart enough, you know what your soul path is. Um, it takes a lot of healing to get there. And I also took us into 7D. So it's a little more healing than we were supposed to have, which is why the path to righteousness was priceless because it was your guaranteed path in. All you had to do was choose love the whole way. I did the rest for you. <laughs> but now you guys are kind of on your own, you know, because we are rising now. Like you have to be free of karma and shadow. So I have been, I made it through the 13 gates. I united with my DM entirely. I cleared all karma, um, all parts of the shadow. I called my power back. I see it clearly and I choose love the whole way. And I have remained in balance since I got through the 13th gate long enough that my contract was created. And two days ago, I was nudged back to my mantra that I did four years ago. And as I was writing this mantra down and saying it for abundance, the golden key came in. In the end, I say, I use this key to open up my gates. And I saw the key I was given on the day that I got my new blank contract from God and my golden key, my golden pen and this key. It was a beautiful key and it had a ruby on it. Um, it was like this massive old timey looking key. It was beautiful. And I read the, wrote the mantra the other day and right at the end, I say the key and I saw the key and I saw all 13 gates open and I got so many chills and I just felt so good. So you have to clear all karma. You get a new contract. Your heart is measured. It has to be pure, it has to be pure light. Pure love, a lens of love, no karma, no lessons to learn, can't be in judgment and fear and things like that. And you cannot be governed by the matrix. Okay, so I can't, well, I have to go work my nine to five to pay my bills, then I'm not heart centered aligned and I'm not in balanced heart center. Okay, abundance in the new earth will be found from the heart space balanced. Okay. So you have to be open, you have to be connected, aware, and balanced, a full balanced life. <laughs> and I have courses for all of that because it was all a part of the return of Christ. It's a lot to explain in one sitting. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you're governed by the matrix, you are not in the new earth. You have to be soul path aligned and then pure sovereign, your own power the whole way, a pure creator. Okay, because that's who we are. That's what God gave us. That's our birthright. Um, not governed and shackled and bound by the shadow and the matrix. Okay, so choices you make either create karma or free you. 
it is up to you. And you had time to heal it all. And God bypassed some time because not enough people were pushing past that resistance. Even to work with me, there's going to be resistance. To do that path to righteousness was golden. And I feel a lot like there's resistance. Okay, because it's real and the shadow doesn't want you to take your power back from it because then it loses all of its own its power because it's only you that it takes from. Okay. Once the fallen fell from God, they had no more power. So they use you through manipulation to give your free will to the shadow. Once you do that, they have your power. That's what they use. And they keep you shackled through fear and money and all of these things. So if money is more important than love, you're driving, okay? But I got my key. I didn't, I got my key when I made it through the 13 gates. But I was, like the key was used two or three days ago now. I just felt this nudge. I've been in balance. I've been doing everything I'm supposed to be doing without fear, without any of the shadow being able to take over. And it's not been easy, right? Because you have to pull out all of this out of the shadow. Keep your vibration high and stay in balance from your heart center. So I'm a course creator. I'm a book writer. I'm a healer. I do all these things. Okay. And then I also make really fun things and I do my paintings and I do all the workshops that I'm co-creating to do. So anything that comes through my heart's nudges, I do it without hesitation, without hesitation. And then suddenly, like God told me my contract was written a while ago, but I forgot about the key. You guys, I forgot about the key. There is truly 13 gates to abundance, not 12. You cannot be duality anymore. And this mantra that I did, it's a Pleiadian mantra. And it's, I open the gates with my financial flow. I widen my golden web beyond the universal flow. Abundance is now mine in every way, easily received with magical embrace. And it's not too long, but the other day I was nudged to write it again. So I did. And in the end of it, it literally states, I now use my key to open up my gates. And that's just the gist of it. Like, I have it right here. I'll read it to you again. I wrote it down like four years ago. So let me find it again. No, yeah, I channeled it through like four years ago, you guys, and I didn't know the significance of it. I know what it is. I mean, I know it's a mantra for abundance, but this is what it states. I open the gate for my financial flow. I widen my golden web beyond the universal flow. Abundance is now mine in every way easily received with magical embrace. I am financially free from two to three. Money comes now immediately to me. I am flowing with light, energy, and love. My golden web is a miracle glove that catches all my wildest dreams. Bring now to me my wildest dreams. I now open the gates within with my golden abundance key. And I was given that key when I cleared all my karma, made it through the 13 gates, and I got my blank contract. And I forgot about the key. <laughs> I really did. I kept focusing on the contract. Like, I didn't want to create from the matrix. And I knew that. And I knew I needed balance from the heart center. And that's been my focus. Like, truly, truly has. Making sure that I let nothing take me away from that. And that I don't hesitate to heart nudges at all. Because the moment you hesitate to love and to God, you give your power to the shadow. So that's been my focus. And three days ago, I was drawn back to this mantra and I wrote it down. And as soon as I said, I now open the gates with my golden abundance key, I got the key again. Like I saw the key and it opened my gates. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot all about that key. So it's amazing. It's an amazing journey. The new earth is so beautiful. We are free. We are sovereign. We are creators. We are powerful. And abundance reigns. R-E-I-G-N-S. Meaning that when we are sovereign in our own power, aligned with our heart center and balanced and free of all karma and shadow and wounds, abundance is true. 
That is the only way we are going to find abundance now. So are you rising? Or are you blinded? The choice is yours. It does take a lot of healing. Okay. So it's really cool. You really do get a blank contract. You really do get a key. And when you find your soul path and your balanced alignment, the key opens up your 13 gates of abundance. And mine was just opened three days ago. So much love to all of you. New Earth Blueprint is now. See you later.